Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. We're fighting the true Garuda today, and this is the team we bring. Uh, Aiko is gonna be our healer, and also she's gonna help support the team a little bit. We have Bash, who's gonna be our cover tank, because uh, Garuda does some uh, magical and also some physical attacks. CG Sakura is making her comeback after a long time. Uh, I'll show you guys what I have on her. Uh, she's gonna be good. She's gonna be able to buff our team up. Basically, uh, what we want is this right here. We want to be able to buff up our uh, Fravias because they're gonna do a lot of damage. So we're gonna quick combo offense and magic to do a little bit extra damage. And also, we're gonna work on getting that MP regen. And the other good thing about her right here status resets so basically you uh, nullify all status alignments for five turns which a gruda is able to put some status alignments on your team also Ico, we're gonna go down right here cradle of orns uh, basically buffs your defense and spirit by 100 percent for two turns that you get it from the uh, legendary stag fight which is not super hard so everybody should get that that's a really good stuff uh, if you're not bringing a singer or a buffer like Soleil in your party. And then, we're bringing the Queen of Ice, Fravia. She's going to be our damage dealer with another friend, Fravia. Basically, uh, Garuda, you're not able to break her defense, but you can break her spirit, magic, and attack. Which is going to be sick, because she does hybrid damage, so we're able to boost our damage up a little bit more. Uh, we're gonna go in the fight and we're gonna talk about the things that we have to be careful of so basically first uh, threshold you're gonna bring her down to let's say 49% and after that it's gonna stop so you guys can burst her down more than 49% uh, that's number one you guys can see this little thing right here the monolith do not attack that thing because the second you attack that, you're going to do more damage. And her threshold is just going to do even more damage to you. So, we want to make sure that whenever you're targeting something, target her. Do not use AoE attacks or any AoE magic move on this. First turn, uh, I want to make sure that I'm not going to get any status alignments. So, we're just going to go status reset here. Aiko is going to help us boost our defense and spirit with Cradle of Orns, Bash. Uh, basically, what I want to do with Bash is break the attack and magic. So we make sure that she does less damage. We're going to break the attack and magic of the rock, but it doesn't really matter. And this girl, Frost Flower Blitz, because you know the thing. She's so, so damn good now. Uh, we're going to go right here. And we should do a little bit of damage. Bring her down to maybe 85%. Oh, just a little bit less. Just a little bit less. Next turn. So you guys can see her attack are not super, super strong. Good thing she didn't attack that. No, nope, she didn't attack it. So we're still good. Bash just healing himself up. Perfect. We also want to evoke an Esper. So this is why I brought Aiko. We're going to go down right here. And we're going to uh, fill our evocation gauge. Uh, Sakura now is going to buff up the attack and magic of our team. So we're going to do this right here. Actually, I could break the defense and spirit. Uh, actually, just the spirit if I want. Which uh, I'm not going to take any chance. And I'm just going to cover for the whole party. Just in case, because you never know. You don't want to get screwed up by the boss at that point. Right in the beginning of the fight, right? So we're going to make sure we target Garuda again. Make sure you always target her. And we're going to do some good, decent damage. Uh, as my game is lagging a little bit. Also, during the fight, she's going to... Oh, nice. We're bringing it on to 49%. So this disappears. Basically, she never attacked it. So her threshold was really, really weak. She basically did no damage to us. Also, uh, we can nuke her down. We could probably nuke her down right now if I break her spirit. Uh, if you do nuke her down, you're not going to get your... Uh, actually, let's see if we can get that right now. Can we get the evocation gauge full? I want to call in something. Can we do it? Ah, so close. Uh, I'm not going to break her defense and spirit. I don't want to kill her yet. 
So we're just gonna break her attack and magic. She's gonna spawn two characters after. So we're gonna she's gonna spawn uh, Suparna and Chirada. Uh, one's gonna be buffing uh, Garuda by 50% for all her stats and the other, the other one is just going to be healing her so if we don't kill her now they're going to spawn they're not that hard to kill uh, it's just that it makes the fight a little bit longer but trust me it's nothing hard nothing too complicated right here all we're going to do is we're just going to make sure we don't run out of mp because i don't think we will and we just chain since the monolith is not here anymore let's see how much damage we can do we got our gauge up so that's really good die 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 she's getting angry and there she goes she spawns those two not a problem not a single problem because all we're gonna do right here we're gonna reduce their defense and spirit because them the two little ones you can break their defense and spirit uh sakura uh, am i still good yeah we're still gonna boost our defense our attack and magic sorry we're gonna go like this. Flower Blitz. Flower Blitz. We're gonna target her. I wanna make sure I took. Uh, yeah, we're still good, right? Am I still good? Please tell me it was the right one. Yeah, Bahamut. Bahamut doing all the damage in the world. So, guys, that fight is really not that hard. Uh, you guys can see if she doesn't attack the Monolith at the beginning, she's basically gonna do no damage to your party. You guys can see we only took like 400 damage or something like that. She's really not that hard. And we just got the two Fravias doing all the damage in the world, which is sick. Uh, these two are going to go down really, really fast. You guys can see they're already at 81 and 82%. Bash is just tanking everything like a boss, because that's what he does. Even if you have Warrior of Light, you guys, you're going to be able to do it nice and easy. You don't need to cover for magic or anything like that. Uh, we're just gonna finish this one here. Yeah, this one's gonna go down first. Actually, we want to make sure we don't die now. Right, so Crowd of Orange. There you go. We're gonna do this right here. Who am I attacking? This girl? Did I mess that up? Nope, we didn't mess it up. So, that one's dead really fast. So you guys can probably clear this in six turns. Nice and easy. Nothing, nothing hard. Trust me, this is actually a really, really easy fight. Or even having five characters, right? To be honest, the thing I like the most is uh, the combination of Cradle, Cradle of Horns and uh, the combo with um, CG Sakura. Being able to buff your attack and magic by 100% for three turns with her, and with her, you're able to buff up your team by 100% for defense and spirit. Uh, it makes the fight that much easier since you don't have to think of, oh, I need a, let's say, a a buffer for the party so right here like she's useful in that fight because of that and also we get the um what's it called the uh, status alignments for five turns which we're not we're not gonna get status alignments for five turns and uh you still have your healer and you're still able to buff your defense and spirit even though let's say you don't have blossom sage sakura guys uh and you have cradle of horns just put on your healer use it uh, even if you do less damage, it doesn't really matter because you guys can see that uh, Garuda and the two little ones, they don't do that much damage and you're able to control the fight nice and easy. And that's it, guys. That was the fight. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I know I like to say guys, guys, guys. Hey! Uh, if you guys enjoyed that one, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!